It's been two years and Jefferson County Sheriff's investigators are still desperate to solve a mysterious murder. Leslie Woodman was found shot inside her home on Baton Road in Bessemer and that was in 2014. Since then, her case has gone cold and CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey joins us with reaction from her family and the latest on the search for her killer. Investigators have said they will not give up on this case, and neither will the family. I drove down to South Alabama and spoke with Leslie Woodman's daughter. She says she'll never stop searching for answers about her mother's death. Every day is so wonderful. I stood in the kitchen with her. And I, just, I had this feeling that I just needed to hug her. And I grabbed her and I hugged her for like five minutes or longer. And then not long after that, she was gone. On the day of Leslie Woodman's murder, Whitney Burr was planning a party for her son's first birthday. So she called her mom. I called her phone and kept going straight to voicemail. And that wasn't, that wasn't my mom. You know, her phone was always on. So I started getting this really bad feeling. And so I started calling her boyfriend. And he wasn't answering. So she went by her mother's house to make sure everything was okay. She said nothing seemed out of place and made her way to her mom's room. The doors kind of cracked. I could just see her legs, you know, and I continued to walk in and I pushed the door slowly. That's when she saw her mom, lifeless, on the bed. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk. I couldn't move. I just hit the floor. Shot in the, in, in the comforts of her own bed, in the comforts of her own home. Devastating loss. Sergeant Wayne Curry, a criminal investigator in the Bessemer Division of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, is working the case. For Curry, this one case has special meaning. There's not a day go by that I'm at work because I have a picture of Leslie on my desk that I don't think about it. Curry also keeps a photo in the suspect interview room with the hope that someone might recognize her. It might uh, jog their memory on something that they saw. Or they heard around a hundred people have been interviewed searches on land and lake areas following up on leads all over the county and surrounding counties but so far no suspects it's a straight who done it we have no idea however we've learned another home was burglarized on the same day close to where Leslie Woodman's body was found we know that there were items missing from the house we know there was another burglary the same day that was discovered where items were stolen from that house including a gun Detective Curry said he believes the burglary and the murder are connected. We haven't ruled out anything. We haven't ruled out any reason because we just don't know. And while Curry continues working to connect the burglary and the murder, Whitney Burr is still asking who would do this. I want to know why, for what reason did they take my mother? CBS 42 is a Crime Stoppers partner, and we're working with investigators to help find justice for this victim and her family. If you have any information that can help solve this case, call Crime Stoppers at 254 7777. You can leave a tip anonymously, and good information may earn you a cash reward. We'll continue to follow any new leads in this case. In the studio, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.